Good morning, you guys. We are starting the day a little bit late. Slept in, did a lot yesterday. Not just Instacart, but I did other stuff as well throughout the day. Got to bed later than I wanted. So we're starting about 11 o'clock with this 28 single Sprouts that's going downtown. We're hoping for a profitable weekend. We're trying to clear 2,000 at least before adjustments on Sunday. So we're gonna run in here and I'll let you guys know how the shop goes and how the delivery goes because I'm never a fan of going in the direction that this order is taking me. For the past two or three weeks, I've been taking screenshots of every single receipt after I take a photo in the app. I know that sounds kind of stupid because why would I need a screenshot the receipt when I already take a photo and you know Instacart has it. The reason I've been doing this for the last two or three weeks is because one of my buddies got deactivated temporarily due to misuse of the Instacart card. Basically they were saying like he was potentially buying stuff for himself. This dude is the most straight arrow guy like genuine dude that would never do that kind of stuff and fortunately he was able to reactivate his account after he had to send the last 30 days of receipts in to Instacart so I have no idea why we even take a photo of the receipts because you know we take the photo after every single time we check out we have the receipt and I just think it's absolutely ridiculous they requested the last 30 days of orders and this guy does this full time so he like he grinds and he like does between whatever seven and ten orders a day so he had to dig up all his receipts. I thought easier than that would just to be having a screenshot after every time I check out and that way it would be easy if, if Instacart deactivated me for the same reason. I could just send in all the screenshots of the orders that I have done and the receipts. But I do that for safety because you never know what Instacart is going to do or why they're gonna deactivate you for whatever reason. One thing that I'm pretty sure we don't think of enough is that we are disposable. There are so many people on the wait list, especially in California. And I know people that have been on the wait list for over a year trying to you know, shop because they've heard of how good Instacart can be. That's why we do it. And so we have to understand that we're disposable. I think it was an automated thing, just like certain things are automated, like they'll deactivate you or they'll send you an email, but Whatever it is, guys, we have to take the right precautions. We're about to deliver this order right here. I am downtown. And then after that, we're gonna get out of here and try to find something else that's good. So hopefully this drop off goes smooth. I'll let you guys know if it doesn't. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just gotta keep the day moving. This is why I don't like delivering downtown. Look, can't even park here. This is where I would have to park to deliver. But this whole spot is taken up because yeah, that's more important. At least the doors are open. Okay, the parking at this building is usually not this messy, but it looks like someone's either moving in or moving out. It just makes it horrible to deliver downtown. This is why I don't do it. So we're waiting for a spot at Costco right now. Seems a little messy. I had to take the back entrance. There's a whole bunch of cops way over there and I have no idea what's going on. One of my buddies sent me a picture of an ambulance so maybe something went down. I have not heard of any bangers out of here from the boys so maybe they're a little bit late today. So we sat at Costco for over an hour to get a $40 Ralph's single, which is 48 items, so it's not easy. It's a new customer. We're gonna try to run this really quick. Puts me over 70. We are behind today. We started late, so we're gonna have to make up some ground and hopefully catch a banger or two today. We gotta run this real quick, and we're probably gonna hang in PB afterwards. Probably won't go back to Costco until later, and that might not even be a thing. So we're gonna handle this really quick and get to the next one. There it is, $428 bill. That's like, what, 5% if we do the math? And like, an absolute insane amount of alcohol and non-alcoholic beverages. At least the shop is only about 20 minutes. And it's a single, so that makes it less bad.
so we got that done. It took me probably an hour, give or take, because it took me forever to get to Ralph's from Costco. As soon as I dropped off, literally, I swiped delivered. I had three orders pop up on my screen, and one of them was this order right here for five items, which I couldn't say no. That is a solid order, solid tip, and actually, the tip is literally like $4 less than the order that I just did for 48 items. Like, that was a lot of work, and the bill was over 420, so not the best percentage, but happy to do it. And sometimes when you take orders that are not the best, like that one that I did, that 40, you get rewarded sometimes. So I am going to jump down to Ralph's again and knock this one out. And for some reason, I got a $28 shopper bump randomly. Like when I swiped delivered, I was at $102. And so I'm gonna ask some of the guys if they got shopper bumps randomly as well, because this has happened before. I'm just not sure if it's only a few people that got the bumps or whatnot, but I'm gonna reach out, see if other guys got it, and uh, I'll let you guys know how this goes. So this will put us on track for like 1.30 by 3.30, which is not the best, but we're moving, guys. We're moving. All right, back into Ralph's we go for this quick 30. Hopefully we can make it quick. So here's a quick pro tip for you guys. A lot of times when people are ordering stuff on Instacart, they'll look at the picture and it looks like the size that they want it to be, but it's not. So on this order, he had the small Grand Marnier on here, but this is the larger one. So I asked him if he meant to get the small one, which is the mini, or he wanted this normal size. He said he wanted this size, so we're gonna replace it. It's gonna make the tip go up. Just for future recommendations for you guys, double check if you see a mini bottle, whether it's champagne or alcohol. Always double check with the customer because sometimes they actually meant to get the larger one. So, quick tip for you guys. Okay, so that put us at 136 on the day. It's 320, and that replacement on the Grand Marnier alcohol was, it got it from 29 to 34. So, not a huge jump, but still, $5 makes a difference so if you guys ever come across a situation like that in the future where you have alcohol on your order and it's a smaller bottle just double check with the customer I've had plenty of customers tell me yeah I wanted the mini bottle or whatever but it doesn't hurt to check because number one it could increase your tip and number two you're gonna make the customer happy because you're checking with them on you know the item that they actually wanted to get initially so we're heading back up the Mission Beach strip right now and we're gonna head over either to Ralph's or Gelson's and see what other other orders we can get volume is still really low right now but I'm hoping that since it's Labor Day weekend it's going to pick up this evening and this weekend all right so as soon as I ended that last video I picked up this banger right here with some range we are going to try to shop it over here in PB at Garnett Vons but surprisingly once I typed in the address over here in PB it says that this Vons is permanently closed so I'm about to find out if that's true or not that would be weird because I was just here like with within the past two or three days probably. So I don't know if it's true. I'm gonna try to shop it here since there's no alcohol in the order and that way I don't have to go all the way to the other Vons out in La Jolla, which honestly I don't really like that Vons. It's small and out of stock on stuff all the time. So we're gonna try to shop it here at this one if it's open. So I will let you guys know if it is. And if so, we're gonna run these 41 items and get close to 200 on this batch. Yeah, Apple Maps is clearly wrong. There's a lot of people coming in and out and the parking lot's full. So we're gonna jump in here, run the 67. She only has 11 orders under her belt. So I'm not sure if she's a repeat. I'll let you guys know if she is when I get to her address, but let's get this done. went really well $215 bill she knows how to tip very nicely for some reason I don't know if you guys ever get this but like I'm sitting there bagging my stuff you know someone asked if they can help me I'm like no nah, I got it but I'm like trying to have a, a semi decent conversation with like you know the cashier and it's like bro are you ignoring me on purpose or you know are you, am I just talking too quiet anyway this is solid I have a little bit of a drive, but 100% worth it. Did the shop real quick. Only a couple replacements, and hopefully it got up close to 70. If not, it's still solid, especially the best one for the day. So I'm gonna get this going, and uh, on to the next one.
right, we just took care of that one. She was not a repeat. I wanna say she was from Arizona or out of town because I walked in, everything was super clean. It smelled like cleaning products or something like that. So I'm assuming they were from out of town and there were a few people in there. So it looked like they had just got there for the weekend. Looks like our first Labor Day order and it was a success. We got that up to $69 and some change so that put us over 205 206 i think we're at 206 right now 4 30 probably going to start to see a little bit of traffic but we are on pace for a 300 day regardless of starting a little bit late we should still be able to hit 300 today so we're going to get out of here i haven't decided where i'm going to go yet i am in la jolla the nearest stores are probably between three to five miles away from me we'll just have to make a decision on where we're going to go and i'll let you guys know what we get next all right, we just picked up a 43 double. Take a look at these notes from customer A. This is a joke. Hopefully it's easier than uh, she makes it look to be. But we got our flat, we're gonna head inside. 250 after this. bad should get this whole order done within under an hour should be at 250 within the next 25 minutes so we are closing in on 300 bro sometimes less is more those notes were absolutely pointless and I appreciate the effort put in by them but sometimes you just put your number your unit number and leave a note saying call me if you have a difficult time finding my place but like you left like two novels which honestly scare shoppers and i'm sure people cancel because they see the notes like this is not an easy place to deliver to but yeah it literally took me five minutes not even okay pretty even split customer a who had all the notes was tipping more but that put us exactly at 250 by 545 which means we are on track for sure for 300 we're gonna go back to costco and try to catch one more evening banger maybe potentially a 60 or whatever but yeah we got that order done with under an hour and i'm telling you guys like when you're not that picky and you decide to take an order that's 43 dollars an hour so honestly that's super good i'm happy with it and we just need a 50 to get over three and we might go a little bit more i'll let you guys know what we get next and let's keep this friday energy up right now bro this bird is on the roof of my car watch this let's see how he likes this <laughs> waited over an hour for a 30. i originally took a 41 like 35 minutes ago but i ended up canceling it because it was horrible it was a horrible split horrible route and it just didn't make sense. I don't know why I even took it, but we're gonna run this. Puts us at 280, and then we need one more to get over three, and we can go home. Nice and easy. Mm. All right, so we just plugged in. It's about 820, and we are at 279. We probably waited way too long for that order. We probably should have gotten out of Costco and went to some other store. But I was talking to some friends and that just kind of made time go by quicker and we weren't seeing anything. But that 29 finally came in and it put us at 279. So we literally need a 21. We're charging in Claremont right now, which it can have late night 25s and 30s, which all I need is like a 25 or 21 and I'll call it at 300, but I don't wanna to wait too long. It has been slow pretty much the entire day, not just for me, but for like everybody. Hopefully something comes in soon, but for now, we're just gonna sit here, charge the car, look for something decent to end the day. So hopefully we're not waiting too long, and I'll let you guys know as soon as it comes in. All right, so we just made it home. It's after nine, it's like 9.15 right now. We ended on 279 for the day. But honestly, the next morning is way more important than finishing off running scraps tonight. Like I said earlier, it was just a dry day and not a lot of people made a lot of money. So I'm grateful to have made just about 280, which puts me at 1540 on the week. 
in a good standing still with Saturday and Sunday to come and I'm expecting a big weekend as is everybody hopefully in the Instacart community because we have Labor Day weekend so hopefully you guys are crushing it this week and finish the weekend strong I appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll see you in the next one